you and um, good afternoon everybody. I'm um, Mark Worth, I'm the founder, CEO and chairman of Stylus Media Group. Uh, we provide research and, um, and uh, advisory services to all consumer industries and work with over 350 global brands, advising them on uh, consumer behavior, on product development and on engagement with the consumer. Um, my presentation today um, encompasses some recent research that we've done around the consumers of the future, as well as technologies and retail strategies that are changing the way that we do business. Um, it's a very visual presentation, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's just... Well, so as I was saying before, my, um, the, the presentation today encompasses some research that my team has done recently around consumers of the future, as well as technologies and retail strategies that are changing the way that we do business. Uh -huh, it's working. So I'm going to introduce you today to um, the Savvy Tech Generation Y and Generation Z communities. I want to talk a little bit about the technologies that you can embrace to appeal to these young innovators. And it represents a type of thinking that we've been developing over the last four years at Stylus and considering the challenges that brands face in converting strong brand engagement to sales. So who are the next uh, connected consumers? The future innovators currently described as Generation Y, who are the 20 to 33 year olds, and Generation Z, who are the five to 19 year olds. They are the consumers of the future, and understanding their motivations and tech habits will determine what will engage them. So I'm gonna start off talking about Generation Z also known as tech zombies. Well-informed, media savvy, keen to collaborate, today's five to 19-year-olds are super social networkers who in, in many ways are growing up faster than any previous generation. They account for two billion of the world's population and more than a quarter of the population of the United States. Analysts say that they are mature, resourceful, but also impatient and looking for instant gratification. Generation Z are often called screen gauges. For them, technology is oxygen. According to a recent survey in July this year, 15% of UK children said that they would give up food and sleep to play more with their mobile phones. The digital world that Generation Z is growing up in is radically different to the one that their parents and older siblings faced. Even tattoos are digital. They can already buy packs of temporary digital tattoos from Motorola to unlock their mobile phones. That's, of course, if they don't want to wait the 2.3 seconds that it takes to use a password. And products are being designed that meet the needs of tech-savvy teens for this growing market in innovation. Earlier this year, a company called Mar Blue released the first headphones with an all-foam monobody design. The unusual material means that the headphones are almost indestructible and most importantly, shareable. This is really important attribute to note for this group. Tech embedded beauty is another emerging category that will be targeted at Generation Z consumers. The Wearable Services Project imagines the future of nail art in an age of wearable technology. The nails feature embedded sensors that can be personalized to provide the wearer with information about their daily interactions or create diary reminders for them. And when it comes to entertainment, Generation Z viewers favor non-linear forms of storytelling. Idna is an animated story from Ape Lab, which allows viewers to actively control their spatial experience of a film or animation on a mobile device. Each scene is a 360 degree experience, so users shift the device to focus on different visual and audio points as and when they want to, so that no two experiences of a story are the same. New storytelling tools like this could prove game-changing with an always-on mobile audience in both the entertainment and advertising fields. Generation Z are turning away from Facebook in their droves. Apologies to our sponsors. A quarter of teens in the US have left the social network this year, and they don't want to talk. Phone calls account for just 3% of the time that teens in the UK spend communicating through any device. 
Instead, they're flocking to emoji-only social networks, such as iMoji, which lets you convert selfies, animals, and celebrates, uh, celebrities into your own stickers. If teens are watching on YouTube, they're not watching mainstream celebrities. They're obsessed with texting, obsessed with emojis, and obsessed with videos on YouTube. YouTube's biggest star is PewDiePie, if anybody's come across PewDiePie. He's a UK-based Swede who racked up 351 million views on his gaming channel in June alone. That's more than 8,000 views a minute, and as a comparison, it's 20 times more than CNN. US teens value the candid sense of humor, lack of filter, and risk-taking spirit common among YouTube stars. In their eyes, authenticity is a route to fame. Generation Z is a generation for whom social media is media, and there's little distinction between consumer and creator. It's the most entrepreneurial generation we've seen. According to a 2014 study, 72% of Generation Z members would like to start their own business. Coming from an era of, self, of rising self-employment and new ideas driven by rapid advancements in technology, children and teens are beginning to aspire to launch their own companies. You can take classes online or connect with exports, experts before you're 10 years old. Teenagers are now giving influential TED Talks building the reputation and networking before they've even left school. So how can brands win favor with these teen entrepreneurs? Shift from presenting new things to buy to inspiring new things to do. And shift from telling your story to starting a conversation about theirs and inviting collaboration. Lego is a great example of this with their in-store interactive areas a new film that highlights individuality in the creative process. And just as this chocolate Lego um, demonstrates, despite all the tech advances we've seen, a sense of play is still paramount for Generation Z. So moving on to Generation Y, or Generation Yo, or Millennials as they are most commonly known. This generation of 20-somethings are sometimes regarded as entitled, jobless, obsessed with selfies, but really are they? Although millennials are often described as narcissistic and anxious, the reality is that they're a generation that enjoys a strong sense of community. They use technology as a way to enhance their real world experiences rather than escape from them. Growing up with information at their fingertips, millennials are determined to find their own answers. On average, they can do five tasks at a time, a huge improvement on the 1.5 tasks that Generation X are capable of. They can watch Game of Thrones, listen to One Direction, create content, search online, and Skype with friends all at the same time. And they check their phones a bare minimum of 43 times a day. And perhaps not surprisingly, more than 40% believe that losing their phone would be worse than losing their car. They are a freemium generation. They expect free tasters, trial periods, upgrade potentials. This applies to all aspects of their lives, including, would you believe, marriage. Out of 1,000 US millennials, 43% would support a beta marriage, a concept that considers the first two years of a union a beta test period. At the end of a two-year trial, the couple can choose to part with no paperwork needed. Their repu online reputations are everything. They thrive on social validation. Muppies, who are millennial yuppies, represent an important group of post-recessionary, educated, social, and outspoken 20-somethings. They have an unquenching lust for likes, retweets, and follows. Shrewd luxury brands are pursuing this dem emerging demographic via selfie-driven social media campaigns. In a world defined by constant flux and rising complexity, millennials crave straightforward solutions and purpose-built products. Easy to adopt, easy to delete. That is a mantra. Nowhere is this more evident than in their favorite apps. Last year, we noted a trend towards unbundling Startups such as WhatsApp were peeling off functionality, in this case, messaging, 
from bigger players like Facebook. This trend is accelerating, and apps are becoming even more specialized. It's all leading to one app per task. In April, US app Yo took the single purpose app trend to its ultimate extreme. With the tagline, it's that simple, the app's only function is the ability to send a single notification, Yo, to friends. With two million downloads and a valuation of $10 million under its belt, now they're looking to start to commercialize the business. This no hassle app attitude is popping up even in the most traditional uh, service sectors. Snapchat is a prime example. It's come from a stripped back beginnings to dominate the app space for this market. Just three years old, it's already the third most popular social app among millennials, more than Twitter, Pinterest, or Vine. Among younger millennials, penetration is hovering at 50%. It's becoming a powerful brand tool. Last year, Juicy Couture, for example, debuted a fashion campaign of behind the scenes images on Snapchat to 2.5 million fans. And considering hardware, 30% of millennials use more than four devices a day. So what are the secrets to designing millennial-friendly interfaces? Make it big, loud, and easy. Fuss-free, no hassle interactions. Those are the way to their hearts. With a simple-to-use interface, Tinder has become the standard bearer for apps that do one thing well. These days, consumers need to be able to understand your product function and its benefit, uh, benefits in your lives in seconds. Another key strategy is to create a place for connection. The reason why Yo and Snapchat have become so successful is that they create online connections. They help people be together without exchanging long streams of text. And nowhere is a radical shift in media consumption more evident than in vlogging. Beauty vlogging is big business. Two-fifths of British women watch online beauty tutorials. Beauty vloggers are key authorities, controlling 97% of a conversation around beauty topics and related brands on YouTube. Where bloggers could potentially retouch images, vloggers present a more true-to-life uh, portrait of the product in use. New York Magazine dubbed 24-year-old Brit vlogger Zoe Sugg, also known as Zoella, the queen of the whole video. Sugg's YouTube channel, which boasts more than 4.7 million subscribers, is focused on makeup tutorials, but also features haul videos where Sugg shows off items purchased on shopping sprees. She's now becoming as famous as some of the biggest pop stars in her generation. At a recent One Direction gig, she was the one that was mobbed by fans. It's a fast-changing world. And so to sum up the first section, I want to highlight two observations that we've made about these groups. 